turn left. In your job, do you ever wear a shirt and tie? This is my job, Bob. <laughs> However, in my previous job as a consultant, right yes, ahead. I used to always wear a shirt and tie, even in the middle of summer. Turn right. Happy anniversary, Letter. Turn right. Wait, when does oh, it expire? Yeah, yeah. If it expires soon, I'm going to drive via the map. Is this it? Mom! I know, dear. He's a cheating scumbag. Yeah, Mom. Curtain slider. Is that the crone? You dig the polo shirt, Doc Ovi. Thank you. Glad you like it. Official Boeing t shirt. Cost me $45. This one. I bought a plane as well, but I've got to assemble it. In fact, I can show you the box. One second. You could have got me the shirt $15 in cafe press. Uh, unlikely. Yeah, you can get rip-off stuff with the Boeing logo, but it's actually a good shirt. I bought this. 747-400. Queen of the Skies, 1-400 scale, I think it is. I think it's 1-400 scale, so... That will go back here once I've... Put it together. One forty four scale, is it? Hang on. I can't remember what it was. There's a few different scales you could buy. No. One four hundred scale model. They did bigger ones, but A, they were expensive, and B, they weren't made out of metal like that one. Yeah, well, I had to consider suitcases as well, and what I could fit in a suitcase. That was another concern. I didn't want to buy something I couldn't actually get home. Also, some of them were like $200, I wasn't going to pay that. This this trailer attaches. This is the dodgy trailer. Plain white. Don't ask what's inside. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what? Why is Brendan getting there Thursday afternoon? Always goes up one night before the crowds. Mr. Squirrel's currently walking Doyle. That explains why he's not here. Brendan's gone rogue.
Turn left. Turn, turn left. Right. Well, you just said left. Now you tell me to turn right after you told me to turn left. Turn left. No, we just did a right. Dull remote cam, dude. That was some 5G technology shenanigans right there. Right turn ahead. Turn right. Turn left. No, I meant right. Right, hang on, I need to check the map because I think there's a bit of a town we want to drive through. Kunda, Narva, looping up that way. Okay, looks good to me. Oh, this Nibs is here. One second. Andy mine. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. All right, Dolly's there. Yeah. You better not be wet. I don't see that. His face is there, sir. Come here, dude. Is that cold? You mess this t-shirt up, and your life won't be worth living, pal. Yeah. I'll come out in the wheel. Put your paws yeah. on the wheel. Come on, I'm not carrying your weight. Don't worry, any part of Dolly's worth. Yeah, the part that's on my T-shirt. <laughs> feel, he feels very clammy. Yeah. yeah. Should be taking the fit bit. Oh yeah, because of all my gym activities. Soggy doggy. Do you hear that? He was soggy doggy. Can you see his paws? Like all wet and. Yeah. Cheesy by hype. Males, thank you for 44 months. Cup of tea? <laughs> Kettle's on, don't worry. Yes, please, Caps. I can have a cup of tea <laughs> for the Doyle Treat Fund. Lol. <laughs> Doc Holiday. Hello, third hand. I also miss my last. Uh, oh, watch your shirt size. I'm in a charity shops all the time for work. Um, I think this oh, is a large yeah, Doc yeah. Holiday. I was quite surprised because normally with an American stuff, I have to buy one size up, which normally means if I were a large T-shirt, I buy an extra large. But this is a large, and it works fine. Maybe you've lost weight. Oh, the gym. Oh, the gym worker <laughs> lost weight. That's what it is. Doc holiday. Thank you, sir. Yeah, large usually works. How's Mr. Squirrel? I'm okay, everybody. She's okay. I fell going upstairs the other day, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> Small oversight on my part. <laughs> Andy Milne, if we get you a polo shirt with your face on it, can we call it a polo shirt? <laughs> Welcome back, Souls of Power. All right, you've had enough cheesos. Yeah, we'll Say so, au revoir. Bye bye, minions. His lord will be back later in the week. Come on, do the queen wave. There you go. <laughs> Somehow I managed to escape getting mud on my uh, shirt. It's amazing. Right, I'm going to nip for a very quick bio. 
I do do merchandise. There's a Teespring link if one of the mods wants to rub, run the command for you. He's thinking about sitting down and streaming. Mr. School drives. <laughs> Welcome back. Ow. Okay. She does the pedals. Why she couldn't reach these pedals, probably. <laughs> you could also visit Sosnovy Ball, west of St. Petersburg. Do we need to? Oh, yeah. I'll go that way. Yeah, I'll do that then. Because we can. No, the caps are not available. Okay. I tend to bring some to events now. Left turn ahead. Mr. Rowland, thank you for 69 months. Triple CE, thank you for 45. Happy anniversary. John Fly, how are you doing, sir? 37 months. So, what treats or treasures did you bring back from Yankee Land? I brought back a very posh Boeing t shirt. Actually, I brought four of them. Two of these polo ones this color just like a slightly slightly off white and a dark blue one and then two t-shirts without collars to say Boeing on them and a Boeing 747 I think it's a 200 isn't it sorry 400 747 400 400 scale Lots of 400s. Um, and that was more or less it, I think. How you doing, Mr. John Fly? I did jump in your stream yesterday, but I looked. <laughs> you 
US economy thanks you for your donation. Just gonna jaunt around Oregon with Orbex True Earth. Interesting. The speed limit, scumbags. Left turn ahead. In what plane, might I ask? Turn left. Let me guess. It's either like a just flight Piper or a TBM. Yeah, you see. I knew it. <laughs> uh, Pantomime, no problem. I think it's gonna, yeah, I was about to say, I think it's gonna rain. This is the town of Kunda. Go around the roundabout, second exit. Take the exit. Do I go with Scanning next? Think I'm done with the Merc for a bit. Um, go straight on. I mean, you're talking to a very biased individual who's going to say to you, "Yes, of course, you should go with Scania." Turn left. But in the interest of trying to be impartial, I, I probably would ask the question: Do you have any particularly favourite manufacturers? Go around the roundabout. First exit. Take the exit. Freight line. Fair enough. Go straight. Um, on. anything but Renault is good. So yeah, Scania is fine. Absolutely brilliant. King of the road. Can't go wrong. If you've got the Scania DLC, um, you know, like the Actros, the Mercedes has a. And a DLC to give you more accessories. We can get a similar one for Scania. And then there's quite a lot of customization options at the box. So, yeah, give the Scania a go. I think you'll like it. And then you could try Volvo. This trailer is dodgy, Yoshi. You don't ask what's in this trailer. Yeah, Mighty Griffin DLC. Left turn ahead. You also need to go to therapy. You can't do single player in either ATS or ETS. Addicted turn to the convoys. <laughs> Fair enough. The problem is, it's, it's when you come across the bad guys, <laughs> you know, the trolls, which inevitably appear. Uh, Doren, good night. When's the next convoy? We'll probably start planning one soon. I'll tell you what, there's not much traffic on the road. Oh yeah, if you've got an escort, it's perfect. Keep left.
I'll tell you you said that, Lava Tube. Good evening from the kitchen, food room. Are you really in the kitchen, food room? So, has anybody seen or tried that new Call of Duty um, game? That's on, I think it was on beta, wasn't it? Because I've been away, I didn't get a chance to try it. Is it same old same, or is it actually any better? Dirk has got it. What did he think of it? Yes, it's same old same. Oh dear. So is it... There's nothing compelling. Is it still spawn die, spawn die, spawn die? Whoa! Welcome to the nut house. Basically it all depends on where you spawn. That's disappointing. Mr. Fibble is cross. <laughs> well, thank you for subbing, Mr. Fibble. Uh, another YouTuber thought it was trying to imitate Battlefield to some extent, but nothing original. Go around the roundabout it can't imitate exit. Battlefield because Call of Duty still doesn't have any destructive environment, does it? You either spawn behind them or then behind you. What game mode was that with? Wasn't, isn't it like a ground war Take or something? Like, what are the game modes that are in it? Turn right. Right turn ahead. You can spawn in the same room as four turn enemy right. players. Is that a bug? Jeez, what is this place? Uh oh, gotta go through customs with a with a dodgy trailer. Even the pro gamers like Myth don't like it. That's interesting. I just found Fardinator, I just found the latest battlefield. Um, left turn ahead. And, and Whiteland will tell you, because we turn both played left. it together, trying to give it... Like, we both love Battlefield, and we both tried the latest Battlefield together, and it was just a mess. Just an absolute mess. It was like a large-scale Call of Duty mess. To the point where we both uninstalled it. did die well yeah mostly died at three four was 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 fine but after four it was just a mess i find it odd that battlefield's just doing cod and cod is doing battlefield like i don't get it capstead the new call of duty is trying to be too realistic if that makes sense as if they're trying to avoid the arcade FPS style like the old games. Well, hang on a minute. That doesn't make any sense to me, Capstone, because people in chat are saying it's the same old same, but you're saying it's trying to be realistic. Those two things are diametrically opposed because Call of Duty was never realistic. I think he means because it's set in a modern setting. The graphics and animations, right? Go 
straight on. It's not realistic in any way. <laughs> Is it still like bullet sponge type stuff? Where you where you shoot people, it's like pff, 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 hit marker, hit marker, hit marker, hit marker, hit marker. Oh, they're down. Is this brake testing? You die fast and kill fast. Left turn okay. Ahead. Turn left. See, this is what this is what puts me off. Call of Duty is the low cost of death. That's what puts me off. The penalty of death is not high enough. Like, you don't get to sit out the round, you don't get to wait 30 seconds, you just come back. There's no ticket cost to your team, like... Uh. And if you have a game like that where death has no consequence, then you just play it like that. Why is it 40 on this bridge? Overwatch has faster kills, three shots in the dead. Search and destroy. <clears throat> I used to enjoy search and destroy because because of that. Like there was a consequence. Wait, it's not turning there, is it? What's all that about? Left, then it's actually a left. queue at the fuel station. Turn left. Ghost Recon breaking point looks promising. But open beta is this week. Well, I've played the closed beta, Texas. I played the closed beta, and um, it's it's interesting. It's reasonably fun, um, but there wasn't enough in the last round of beta. There wasn't anything different from the previous one. I don't know if there's going to be anything different in the open. Can I, Callum? You played the closed beta, Ghost Recon as well. I mean, I did everything pretty much you could do in the game, in the close bait. Go straight on. No, there wasn't. There wasn't really that much in it, and I, I don't. I think that's just because uh, testing the tech. I assume the actual game will have a lot more to it. But it kind of feels like a lot of um, Division Division 2 kind of elements in it, in the game. It's almost like a... It has many elements from Division in terms of team play and mission structure and things like that. So I am wondering what's different about it. Is it just like Division but in a different setting? Set on an island? Why is that not? Why is that not triggered? Make a U-turn. Why is this Novi ball still not triggered? Wow. Turn around when possible. The setting seems to make the only, only difference. Yeah. That's what concerns me. Make a U turn. I don't know. I when I saw what's going on with this thing. Hang on. When I saw the trailers for um breakpoints like many moons ago, I thought it looked incredible. But having played the closed beta just didn't seem like the game that they were lining up. It just seems like they've gone down Division 2 route again. The trailer is nothing like the gameplay in Breakpoint. Exactly. That's exactly how I feel. The, the trailer gave an impression of a game that when I played it, just felt like Division in the Jungle. And that's what was the most disappointing. 
because the the one I saw in the trailer was a game that I was quite excited about playing. Right turn Crazy man, ahead. thanks for two months. Love the concept from New Zealand. Can't watch live much because of time zones. We we'll continue doing what you do, and turn I'll catch right. you on Squirrel Plus. Happy trucking, dude. Thank you for being subbed as well. Appreciate that. To all you guys that are not watching live but are watching on Squirrel Plus, cheers. Playing, you felt new to craft anything or was on the run, so to speak. Well, like in Division, you pretty much always have to craft because the stuff that you. Well, yes and no. The stuff that you find is good. It's better than stuff you can buy, but the stuff you can craft is better than the stuff that you find. However, it never lasts long enough. Like, it lasts you just a few levels of. When you're leveling up, it only lasts you a few levels. And then you've got to get rid of it. That's what annoys me. Thank you, Evil Dog. Boy, that was close. That was close. <laughs> That's why crafting is for late game. But the thing is, muffins, it encourages you to pick up loads of stuff and craft things. Keep right. Then turn right. Turn right. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, scroll Jonathan. Paul, I've been watching you for five years now. You've inspired me to build my first gaming PC using Corsair and Asus Rock turn components. Right. Uh, thanks for the absolute awesome content. Greetings all the way from Brazil. Wow. Thank you very much, sir. I've got a fan in Brazil. <laughs> That's bro. Enjoy. Enjoy your gaming rig. Good night, Loopy Loop. MJ Car? Three years. Happy anniversary. Oh, this looks nice. This looks like reclaimed land. Yeah, I think it is some kind of man-made dam or perhaps flood defense. I think it's more flood defense made out of reclaimed land. Much as a wheel and setup, I don't know. Today's prices, I do not know. <laughs> uh, 
They don't call St. Petersburg the Venice of the, the Baltic Sea for nothing. Lol. Good afternoon, TNG. What's your best drive on ATS or ETS? It's a few memorable drives I've done. So this is west of St. Petersburg. Keep left. You'd say harder to Rostock would be up on the list. I mean, drives in Iceland and Scotland and Norway and places like that, Wales and Ireland, like there's there's good roads on Pretty much every every country has a good drive somewhere. Keep right. You're back with chicken and tomato sauce with also and parmesan cheese and green beans. Fair play. Keep left. When do a live stream? Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, starting at 1pm UK time. To be honest, I'm surprised nobody's made an Australian map. I guess the problem is, how do you link it back to... You'd have to do it as a standalone, because you can't link it back to the main map, can you? You can't reasonably have a ferry route down to Australia. One to one Australia, Wyland. Do you know what? I mean, you laugh, but there'll be plenty of people lined up to play that. Hesselhund, thank you for two years. Will you look at that? Thanks for all the great content while I've been lurking in the back. Hey! I would say enjoy the golden acorn, but since you lurk, you've probably never seen it. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, you scumbag. Of course I know the Northern Alex. Why did they just, like, cut through all the lanes? guy. If I'd have been any slower, he would have sideswiped me then. Yeah, Promot is working on Canada. But, you know, it's going to be a long project. Right. Then turn right. Canada's not exactly small. But Turn it's going right. to be amazing, I reckon.
You sent some close calls in both my and my car and ETS2 streams today. Yeah, there's there's been some moments, that's for sure. Keep right. Ice road simulator. Well, somebody's doing an Alaskan truck simulator. But I can't imagine there'll be that kind of physics in it. Part of Russia was Finland pre World War Two. Interesting. Go straight on. Right turn. The game looks like a five year old made it. Dude, there's a lot of games like that. Turn right. Right turn ahead. Turn right. Destination. A lot of games have put the word simulator on the end. Oh, yeah, and really yeah. diluted what it means to be a simulator. Capstad, you ever seen those TV shows where the truckers drive in the most dangerous roads in the world? Imagine a trucking game like that. Funny enough though, Capstad, Scania truck driving sim had some pretty interesting missions that involved driving over very precarious and narrow places. And I always thought that was a great concept that should have been more fully explored, I think. Basically, like trucking challenges. Never taken a look at pure farming, though. It was even late with that one. Glovage. SCS metagame call it Stream Trucker 2. Come on, level 111. Oh. Oh. Marble slab. Blimey. Uh, 
Andy, that's what that is. Armoris Kiaris. A good night. Hey, Captain Flint. I've gone past nine o'clock a few times. <laughs> Turn right. Uh, Rockamba. Thank you for a thousand biddies. Thanks for the many hours of trucking good entertainment on YouTube. You're you welcome. To your destination. Rockamba. Thank you for your support, sir. Thank you. God Gaming. Welcome back. Right. This will be the last delivery. But in five minutes' time, you're going to be into bonus time anyway. So you can't complain. TJ, thank you very much. Or should I say Jalfa? Thank you for the host, sir. Hope you're well. Fine, good to hear it, sir. This is going to be another awkward trailer. I think it is. Oh, man. What is going on with these hitboxes? I mean, this is a stock Mercedes-Benz, and it's not picking up these trailers. I don't get why. It's very, very odd. Reversing into that at speed. Turn left. Is the game enjoyable without track IR? I think most people use it without track IR. Um, you can just look around Let's with the, with the mouse like that. So with a bit of skill, you can basically drive with like with one hand like that and another hand just moving the mouse. I mean, it's not turn as left. real as track IR, but it's still pretty drivable. Hey, silent train coming past. Woohoo! some technology. Play ATS and ETS with your mouse and keyboard and have a still have a great time. There you go. I mean, you can use a controller as well, like an Xbox controller. And then I think you can lock around with the right thumbstick. Go straight on. Or you can go triple screen or ultra wide screen, that's another option. Right turn ahead.
Turn right. Bolt winds, good night. Dropping like flies now. You see, this is why I finish at nine o'clock. Because after nine o'clock, everybody's like, oh, I'm going to go by now, bye. You're still going, Wobbly Weasel. Keep left. What do you mean, Whiteland? Tom Sunday's in America. <laughs> it's like the afternoon for him. <laughs> Keep right. That's why he almost always does the late shift. Tom Sunday needs his beauty sleep. What are you trying to say, Whiteland? Tom, Whiteland's calling you ugly, mate. Says you need beauty sleep. It's not dinner time, it's 5 pm, Whiteland. Sorry, 4 pm. That's nowhere near dinner time. We'll leave it. Not everyone's posh like me. Wait, what? What time do you think dinner is, Whiteland? Only posh people eat after four. Well, let me think. Wasn't we playing games, Whiteland? And it was... Was it 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. when you went out to the barbecue and made yourself some food? Pretty certain that's after 4 p.m. It was not gone midnight. No way, Wyland, was it that late. No way. Because we waited for you, like, you came back after about 25, 30 minutes and carried on playing Rocket League. It was like 9 or 10 at night. It was not midnight, no way. Not having that. I need to call Dre as a witness. Or puppies. Go straight on. Exactly why, and that's why it was earlier than you're saying. <laughs> you are mistaken, sir. Is this one of those McDonald's paper straws? Honestly, hate paper straws so much. Oh, it's just a nasty sensation when you pour it in your mouth. It it honestly reminds me of that when the doctors want to look at you, like look at your tonsils. They put that cardboard stick on, push your tongue down. It just reminds me of that horrible dry sensation. Okay, so you pull out on people and then you just drive slowly. I see how this works.
Okay, you want to brake test me, bro? That's fine. Right turn ahead. Going right, from wrapping plastic straws with paper to wrapping paper straws with plastic. Turn right. In America, tongue depressors are made out of wood. Exactly. It's like a dry balsa wood. It's horrible. I'm getting in with the Russian driving. Glummer Pap. What the heck is that? this bro no 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 you scared back no 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 oof oof look what you just did to my trailer you scumbag he full on turned into me turn right And the prices on eBay, people are charging for plastic McDonald's straws. What? What, like some kind of collector's edition? <laughs> Why would you buy a plastic straw from McDonald's? What is that about? Like, how long do you think it'll be before McDonald's reverses their decision and just goes back to using plastic? To blow my nose. Go straight on. <laughs> He's going to pull out on me. Why is it thirty Ks down this road? This is horrendous. The plastic draw straws were recycled too. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, I agree. They actually ruin the meal. They make me think twice about having a milkshake. Because if I'm in the restaurant, I can have the milkshake. Because what I'm going to do is take the lid off and start drinking it. But if I'm in the car, I can't really do that. So therefore, I can't have a milkshake. Because I'm not having the milkshake with a paper straw. Hey, donkey. How are you, son? Looks like we're going to do the whole journey tonight on one tank of fuel. That's pretty good. Keep right. Then take the exit right. Just have 379 litres. We're good. Yoshi Pickles, thank you for seven. Take the exit right. to Burger King and KFC and steal the plastic straws and leave them in your glove box. Yeah, but are you really going to do that? <laughs> Just grab a Go whole lot of plastic on. straws and leave them in your glove box. <laughs> I'm going to do that, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that. 
I'm going down to Burger King and rob a load of plastic straws tomorrow. Put them in the glove box. And then when I buy a milkshake from McDonald's and they hand me one of those straws, I'm just going to hold up a plastic straw and go, I, I'm having this instead. Take back your cardboard straw. Keep right. Just, <laughs> just to make a point. Straight on. In fact, in fact, when he holds the cardboard straw up, I'll get my plastic straw and be like, On guard! <laughs> yeah, but the, I mean, the thing is, Langevelt, there's hardly any Burger Kings around. And they don't open that late, and mostly don't have a drive through So, that's why I end up never going. Go straight on. Burger King went bankrupt where you live. Well, it's a franchise anyway, so... KFC is biggest in South Africa, so we enjoy that this winter. Fair enough. Wait, hasn't KFC brought, brought out some vegetarian stuff now? I'm sure I read this somewhere. Like, they don't just make chicken anymore, which is ridiculous. Was definitely. Oh no, you can get vegan shoes if you go to um, if you go to uh, Dr. Martin's. You can buy uh, vegan friendly shoes, not made of leather. plant-based burger. Um, I've tried plenty of, like, corn stuff. It's kind of like... It's kind of like eating... Keep right. I can't describe it. It's how I imagine space food to be. You know what I mean? As in, it's like dry... I don't know. It's hard to describe. But I've had, I tell you what I do like, spicy bean burgers, and they're veggie friendly, and spicy bean burgers are nice. Plant-based burgers are all the rage over here, but BK has called the, the impossible burger. Or I don't so much mind that, because it's still a burger. But where I have a problem is when KFC, whose name has got the word chicken in it, starts serving things that are not chicken. As in, they make main meals that are made out of faux chicken. <laughs> Restore failure, thank you for one year of support. Thank you. And Bobby Goodyear, thank you for half a year. If corn is dry, it's not proper corn. Well, I've only ever bought stuff that says corn on it. Kentucky Fried Carrots. Have you ever had a fried carrot? I've not. KFC tried selling beef burgers in Canada for a while. They didn't sell well. If you want a burger, you're never going to go to KFC for one, are you? That's just weird. It reminds me of what Pizza Hut's doing. Like, Pizza Hut is... Pizza Hut used to be a place where you went to get pizza. And now it's turned into this, like, super weird American right. diner thing where you can get pizza, chicken right. wings, like, all kinds of other stuff that isn't pizza. And it's never Take full anymore. It's right. just nobody goes there because nobody knows what to get. We're, we're not running out of fuel. We've got loads of it. We've got about 300 litres, I think. 337 litres. The 
Does the UK have A and W? No, I don't think so. I hate Pizza Express. Pizza Express are rubbish. If you want a pizza, go to ZZ. They're the best. You remember when KFC ran out of chicken? I remember when they ran out of chicken because didn't they change their distribution um, company? And the company that took over the logistics side of it just completely messed it up and didn't deliver the chicken to KFC, which caused a bit of a problem. Yeah, it was DHL, wasn't it? It was DHL that did it. They completely messed up. Zarak ZZ make great pizza. It's all made in a fire oven. That's a very odd question, Random Ryan. Have you been to prison before? Well, it's none of your business. I don't have to discuss things like that, but no, I haven't. Keep right. What a weird and question to ask a streamer. Exit right. Take the exit right. Take the exit right. Omega 3 for fish. I have Omega 3 capsule things, 7C stuff. to start a fast food sushi shop or am I simulating that plan in my PC? Lol. You might be doing some minor offending in Telford. Um, pretty certain Bokan that I turned that option on the moment it became available. Same with like air brake simulation and all that other stuff. You would take a trip to New York City, do yourself a favour and take the Metro North Railroad to New Haven and get a pizza there. I have been to New York, but um more kind of gone th more or less went through it really it didn't actually spend that much time though you're actually hungry now <laughs> whoops <laughs> that's uncanny that's uncanny how does that no that's actually amazing are you watching the stream you clearly I've been are. Out. What? No, I've been in and out. What's that? It's still bread. <laughs> it's toasted bun with either chili glaze, balsamic glaze, with tomatoes, onions, pepper, and cheese. Tomatoes, onion, pepper, and cheese. Yeah, but by Paul. On a on a crispy bread, like a toasted bread, I think. Yeah. That's unreal. It's like a mini... No, it's, we're just talking about pizza and you bring in effectively a mini pizza. That's just crazy. I don't know how that works. I'm glad you're talking about pizza because that's for tea tomorrow. Yeah, it's like a bruschetta, isn't it? Yes. Exactly. It's like a bruschetta. <laughs> you the one northern and say bun. Hang on, we need to... Um, we need to uh, do that for a second. Arguably, do that for a second. I wasn't expecting this. I should probably watch where I'm going. See? This is what Mrs. I'm, I'm not joking now. This is what Mrs. Squirrel does when she buys some like crisp bread, like a crispy roll, and it goes off. Not goes off to the point where it goes mouldy, just stops being soft and just goes hard. You know what I mean? When the moisture disappears, she basically she she effectively grills it and makes pizza out of it. Which <laughs> is hilarious.
This ain't bad. That is very crunchy bread. If you wasn't hungry before, you're probably hungry now. I think she's brought this stuff in thinking that I probably finished streaming. And because I've gone into overtime. <laughs> you have to get some money. <laughs> You're getting three toes of Marmite. Lol. I apologize on behalf of Mr. Squirrel. This is what truck drivers do anyway. Just eat and eat, just drive and eat food. Yeah, Chris, it looks like way, mate. They're all in bed on their iPad now. The roundabout second exit. Take the exit. Second exit. Take the exit. Dude. Unbelievable. I enjoyed that snack, not gonna lie. Uh oh, somebody's been naughty. Can you get a new voice pack for the Saturn of next week because Graham Norton or Dora O'Brien? I don't know, I quite like this one. I don't really enjoy Graham Norton's voice if I'm honest. Out of all the voice packs I've used, this is like the least annoying. Oh, man. 
that sign there. Who the heck would put a signpost there? That's ridiculous. You like the UK female one? It's okay. Voice pack that's polite when giving instructions. My Merc was like that. It was actually annoying. It would go, please turn left, please turn right. Just tell me what to I just just turn left, turn right. You don't have to like please, 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 pretty please. I don't think anybody's made a Sean Connery one. It would be quite good to have one. Yeah, we tried the Morgan Freeman one. It's okay, but it's a bit... It's, it's inconsistent. Like, there's places where it's louder and places where it's quieter, so they've not... Properly normalized it. I don't think a Billy Connolly one would be PG. <laughs> Just saying. Mrs. Squirrel voice pack. <laughs> I can ask her. How many sounds do you have to record? Is it like 20 or something? <laughs> A David Attenborough one. You joking? He speaks... Do you mean the, um, David Attenborough as in the natural history guy? Who speaks so slowly you probably have missed your turn by the time he's finished the sentence. Go straight on. You'd be like, at the end of the road, turn right. And like, you just missed it. <laughs> We see the junction in its natural habitat. Out of all the exits on this roundabout, roundabout. you should exit. probably choose the third one. And you're like, dude, I've just missed. I've literally just Take hit the, the roundabout. Exit. <laughs> Tracker Chris, thank you for 46 months. Been a while since I am able to see one of your streams. It's nice to keep up the awesome work. Love your channel. Thank you very much, Trucker Chris. These guys who can't watch live or can't watch much but carried on subbing. Legends. I know, I know Mr. Attenborough is a great person to listen to. I'm just not sure he's ideal for a voice pack for a sat-nav. I don't need gas. I need diesel. And I don't need diesel either, because I still have... 229 litres of the stuff left. Which has a range of 700 k's, and I've only got to do 74. Lord Doyle voice back, one bark for left, two for right. And a loud bark for slow down. Wait, what? 
So you want me to do quiet barks for left and right? Took a while. Uh, ARJ, welcome back, sir. Cuzzy, thank you for 27 months of pure entertainment. Thank you for the support. For the barking voice, you could go with Frank the dog from Men in Black. No, for, for, for breaking, I could just record what it's like when he sees a cat. That would be the best way. I'm thinking of doing a score voice, but I, I don't know. Simple Sim. I think if I did one, I'd probably just do like a, like a proper one. No messing about, you know? If Mrs. Squirrel did one, I'd try to make it funny. Turn right for a slice of cake. No, you, you want to put that at the end. Or the start. You know, she'd be like... Because there's a voice for the start of the journey, isn't there? Something like, if you did this on time, I'll give you a cup of tea at the end. Something like that. Right turn ahead. There's multiple voices for the start. That's fine. Turn right. Right turn ahead. Turn right. You have reached your destination. <laughs> you arrive at your destination. You want some cake? <laughs> that was close. I need one of those new digital mirrors. See? No depth perception. It's just ridiculous. It's like such a widescreen 2D that you can't actually tell where anything is in relation to something else. Thank <laughs> you. 
steerable axles definitely make it. Like, if you normally drive non steerable and then you jump into a steerable, it completely throws you. I don't know why they want a large tube right at that distribution depot? That's a bit weird. We're going to get level 111. Yes! 111, Divine Champion. Continue. Happy anniversary, Nata. Um. That's pretty weird, uh, warrior. Happy anniversary, Nata. Thank you for 44 months. I think you broke nuts, Lama. <laughs> Happy anniversary, Nata. <laughs> Resubbing hype bomb. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, what do you do? That's some weirdness, that is. Herb has the power to resub 44 times. That's it, man. Game over, man. Game over. Captain Flint, thank you for uh, $2. Since I failed with the glove soundbite so much, I better stick to this one. Lol. Right, guys. That brings us to the end of Sunday Night Trucking. Happy anniversary, Nata. Cup of tea! <laughs> Mighty Luke, keep up the great work. Normal schedule next week. As I was about to say, Mighty Luke. <laughs> Sorry that I couldn't do a full schedule this week. I was away on a secret squirrel event thing. But, next week is a normal schedule. So the hope and plan is that tomorrow we'll be able to submit the uh, VR 180 videos. And as soon as all four are approved, they're going to go out. So finally you can see those. But other than that, I will be back on Friday, Saturday and Sunday next week, as per usual. So uh, yeah, catch up with you then. Hopefully I can make a few vids as well this week. Get that done. And then things should gradually get back to normal. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, I hope you have a great week. And I shall see you all on Friday. Take care, guys. Love you all. Good night.